In this tutorial, I will show you how to copy and paste data from Excel, how to import an Excel file, and how to open an Excel file in Origin. We begin by showing the copy and paste data from Excel. So I have Excel running, and I'm going to open up a sample Excel file. Once the data is imported into Origin, we're going to click in the upper left hand corner to select the entire data, copy it, and then we're going to paste it into Origin. So now we switch to the Origin application. Place the cursor in the first cell, right click, and do a paste. You'll now see here from this image that the data was pasted in at full precision. I now highlight the first row of text, right click, and set that as my long name. I repeat that for the comments field. We now highlight columns B through E, click on the graph toolbar to create a vertical stacked column graph. The y-axis title in the graph you'll see is generated from the long name field in the worksheet. If we look at the legend, the legend comes from the comments field. In the next part of this tutorial, I will show you how to import an Excel file. To do so, we click on the File menu and choose Import Excel. We're going to import that same file we were working with earlier. On import, you can specify the header lines as the label rows, or after the data is imported, as we did before, we can always take and highlight the rows, right-click, and move them up, designating them as long name or comments. In this case, we're doing that one as comments, and repeating and setting that field as our long name in this case. We're now going to click and select that cell and drag it out to auto-fill the comments for the other columns, C through E. We're going to repeat that for the second set of data. So just click and drag and it's going to auto-fill, setting the same comments for all four columns. And again, we repeat for the last set of data. I'm now going to open up the Worksheet Properties dialog under Format menu, where you're going to specify the Merge for the Comments field. So we set the Apply To to Comments, and then we can do a Dynamic Merge, Horizontal. Now each set of data will have a shared comment. As you can see here, the comments have been merged. Let's create a set of a multiple axis plot. So we click on Plot Multi Curve and we choose the 4Y. This gives us a four layer graph, one data plot in each layer. I'm now going to click to select the first data plot, hold down the shift key to select all the other ones. So I'm selecting all four data plots. And then I can increase the line width. And this will do that for all four.
We right click and we add a title, a layer title. I'm setting it so it's going to be linked to the comments of the selected data plot. Keep in mind the comments are the same for all four data plots, so it doesn't really matter which layer we add the title to. In programming control, we set our substitution. And now we see the layer title is linked to the comments. Again, you just right click and go to programming control to have done the substitution. Now we can position this. I can also right click again and go to properties and in properties I can turn on a background so we can set a shadow background. We can increase the font size using the style and format toolbar there. Again, we can do the same thing for the legend. I'm now going to click on Tools Theme Organizer. And from the Theme Organizer, I'm going to set a Times New Roman font to set that as the theme which, when applied to the graph, will change the fonts of all my text labels, including the tick labels, to the Times New Roman font. And now that we've customized this graph, we can save it as a template. To do that, simply right-click on the title bar and choose Save Template As. The name that you see is the template that was used to create the graph originally, so I want to give it a unique, a unique name so as not to overwrite the built-in one. And once I do that, we can click OK. And now we can use this same template with our other sets of data. So I'll go highlight the next four columns of data, select Plot Template Library to choose my template, in the dialog that opens, in the user defined category, I select the saved template. And then I click the plot button, and my graph is generated. And let's repeat that again for the next set of data. So, plot, this time I can just choose it from the recent used or last used menu there and I get my graph quicker. I don't have to go into the template library. So now we have three graph windows. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize the workbook for a minute and we can use the window menu and do a tile to view all three side by side. So we have three very similar graphs each created from the same template. The third part of this tutorial shows you how to open an Excel file directly in Origin. So what we will do is open up that same Excel file. This time it will open not into, it won't be imported into our workbook, but it will open as an Excel file. So now we see the data in Excel. We have access to Excel's menus and toolbars, and if you notice at the very top, the top menu of Origin is changed. Origin's menus are always sensitive to the active window. The plot menu is available to us. We can plot again into that built-in template. A select data for plotting dialog opens where you highlight the data and then click on the X, Y buttons there to designate the columns as X and Y for plotting. Click the plot button and your graph is generated. What we're going to do now is show you how you can save the Excel file in the same location as the OPJ. So I right-clicked on the window title, chose Properties. I make sure the Excel or the external radio button is chosen. And we don't want that, uh, that needs to be unchecked, so we don't want to check that. And then we want to click on the button there that will switch the OPJ path 
So this is going to ensure that the Excel workbook is going to be saved in the same path as the origin project file. So now they're together, they're a little bit more portable. Now when we click OK, notice that the path updates in the window name there for that Excel file. You can see that. Now when I save the origin project, I'm going to save it to the data folder and give it some name. And now we can, once that's been saved, we can go to that data folder and you'll see that we not only have the origin project, but we have the Excel file as well. So both files are now in that same folder. You could send both of these files to a colleague then, so they'd have access to the data when they open the origin project. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.